Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Brianna and if this is your first time watching me, thank you for tuning in. And if you are a long time viewer, thank you for coming back. Um, I look <laughs> like I'm dying. I um, just came home. I, it's 4th of July weekend. I have really no plans um, aside from like maybe seeing my family. Um, and the weather in the weather forecast has been all over the place. So I was home today. I also am getting off of my first week of my new job. Um, and I went to go see the mo the Elvis movie last night. And I'm just really tired today. <laughs> and my allergies are really bad. And um, I still have an eczema flare up. So there's just a lot going on. Um, and I think I am putting this up before the fir last video I filmed, which was last week, I think. I did a haul video and I don't know when, I don't remember when I filmed it. I think it was last week because I got a haircut. I told, every, I told you all about my new job, I think, but I got a new job. Um, I'm in social media and I am um, now working for a different beauty brand than I was before. So that's very exciting. Um, but yeah, today we're going to do, so like, excuse my appearance is what I'm trying to get at. And like, I'm very hot and so I look a little dewy. Um, and then also I have absolutely no makeup on because my eyes hurt so bad. Um, so yeah, that's that. But today we're going to do my ha updated handbag collection. I feel like I recently did this video, but my handbag collection has changed quite a bit um, in the past few months because I've sold a handful and I've also bought a lot more. So we're going to do this from like least expensive to most expensive um so and some of these I've had in my collection for a while so some of them are like repeats so if you watch my other handbag collection videos um then some of these will not be um a surprise so let's get right into it first up oh and just disclaimer I am not showing um any stony clover even if they I have handbags by them so no stony clover um and no like travel things like I have duffel bags and stuff and I'm not including that these are like actual handbags handbags and tote bags um and then eventually I'll probably do an updated um lug like uh lu like luxury collection and I'm also not <laughs> another disclaimer I'm not including um, I live at home with my mom and my sister and they also have their own luxury handbags and we all share. I'm not including theirs, um, because I'm just not, um, <laughs> but we do, there's like more. Okay. First up is this little beach bag that I got from J. Crew this summer. They have like it in, in a bunch of colors. I will try to link most of this stuff below if it's available. Um, and it obviously looks very much like the Prada tote, which is what I wanted. Um, I wasn't going to buy that tote. I'm going to spend that money on like a beach bag because I don't even go to the beach. But when I saw this on J. Crew, I was like, oh my God, I need it. I have not used it yet. Um, but I feel like this, the, the crochet is thick enough that you can use this almost as like, like a handbag, like running errands, because I don't think anything's going to slip through. So this is from J. Crew. So that's the only like non-designer thing that I have. Um, actually, no, I guess not. So this is the Lululemon belt bag. Um, I bought this a f maybe like a month or so ago. Um, my sister was using it and there's stuff in it. Um, I bought it like a month or so ago because obviously everybody and their mother is raving about it. So I just felt like I needed it. Um, and also I sold my 
Sony Clover fanny packs because I just well, I didn't really use them. I didn't really like them. And I feel like this is much more my speed um, right now for like the vibe that I'm going for. I got the extended strap, not realizing that there was like another type, but it works. It's like a, like a beigey grayish color. Um, and I really wanted it another color because this gets a lot of use. Um, and then this is like an oldie. But a goodie, this is my Gigi New York all-in-one pouch. I've had it since like 2014, I think. Um, that's when like Gigi New York was really big with um, like all the bloggers. And I just have it um, monogrammed. I don't use this a ton anymore, but it does have my monogram on it. So I feel like if I sold it, like nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna buy it. Um, oh, I found migraine medicine in here. Oh, that's great. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna have to take that later because I have a really bad headache. Um, yeah, I'm th there's just like stuff, but um, yeah, I don't really use it a ton. Okay, so those are like the like more like lower name brands. So now we're gonna do Kate Spade, which I do have quite a bit still of Kate Spade. Um, because I think I mentioned this in a recent, um, in a recent Kate Spade unboxing that they got a new creative director after like a horrible, horrible run with the last one that took over from, um, Deborah Lloyd, um, who had been the creative director at Kate Spade for a very long time. Um, and they have like really stepped their game up. So it's very, very exciting. But first up, I have my little furry backpack. I have thought about selling this, but my aunt gave it to me and I don't really want to sell it um, since my aunt is no longer with us. But I also think like this is like the perfect trendy. It's like, st it's like still very much like in style, I think. I'll probably just take this heart off. Oh, okay. They'll, it's gonna leave a mark. So yeah, that's that. Um, this I've thought about selling too, but even my sister was like, you loved that bag so much. Do not sell it. Um, and these are the only two backpacks I have in my collection. I'm not like big on backpacks, but I could use them both as shoulder bags. This is like one of my favorite bags. It's like the most beautiful. I think it's like the most beautiful thing in the world. Um, you have like the black, like the like nice, like, um, little bit of a grainy leather with the velvet roses. And I'm just like. It, this is just like so beautiful to me and I like it really can't sell it then we have this little pearl number that I had to have and I unboxed this a few months ago on my channel I have not used it my mom used it for a wedding um but I am just in love like this is like such a good bag um if you could still get it I highly recommend it because it's like the perfect evening bag but it's also like the type of bag that I would wear to dinner um because I feel like with jeans and a t-shirt like this is gonna pop and it's just like the perfect statement bag um okay yeah that's it for the smaller bags then we have this bad boy um I forget what the name of this is but I did an unboxing video on it um and I just still love it I use it I used it more in probably the fall and the winter just because of the color, but I used it recently and I was just like, yeah, like this is, this is a great bag. Um, I was thinking about using it for work, which we will get into my work bag situation. Um, and it could probably fit. So I, I might like occasionally use it for work because I think that it don't, and nobody like, nobody lose their mind, but I feel like it kind of resembles like the style of like a YSL sac du jour or Birkin just because of the structure of it and like the roominess of it and it's just like really just a great bag I love this and then probably like then like one of my favorites which we've gone through this story already um because I also did an unboxing on this in the fall I had this bag in pink years ago and I sold it um probably I sold it maybe like a year before like maybe like 2018 ish or maybe even 2019 
because I didn't love it it was like not like the leather that I wanted it was like in a very soft leather and it was like very grainy and it had a lot of wear and it, I just wasn't into it then I don't know I was like scrolling Poshmark and I saw this and I was like I need to have that I remember how much I loved this bag um and the green is just so on trend and it's the smooth leather and it was in perfect condition and it's just absolutely stunning and like I this to me is very very much a fall bag just because of like the size and the color so I feel like I I used this this was like probably my most used bag this fall and winter this past fall and winter and I'll probably get even more wear out of it once um the fall comes okay I'm that's it for Kate Spade so now we shall do Miss Tory. Um, I still have a good amount of Tory bags in my collection. First, we'll start with this little crossbody. I've thought about selling this as well. Um, this is like the Gemini Link cro multicolor crossbody. I like died for this bag. I think I got it for my birthday in like 2019 um, from my mom and it is a very small bag. It is minuscule. Um, and I do think that we're going to see the return of the big bag trend, which is great news for me because I love big bags. Um, and it comes with this like multicolor chain, but I, I hate chains like this where they're like double, like, like they have like the long, they have, like adjustment and it's like, oh, I hate this. I hate the strap so much, but, um, I digress. The inside is just brown and you have like two separate compartments. It's like a very soft, pliable bag. And um, I mean, it's nice. It's just really small. It's the Gemini Jack Perry Jackard mini bag. Um, and I don't really know. Like I didn't use it at all in the fall, but it's just the kind of bag that I'm like, I don't want to get rid of it because like, what if I need it one day? So I don't know. We'll see. The crossbody, this I got in black friday 2020 or cyber monday 2020 it was tori's um like cyber monday exclusive bag um and cyber monday that year um seemed it was just it fell on my birthday so i picked up this just a simple black crossbody just a really good staple bag to have i brought this with me to um nashville when i went on bachelorette and one of the girls there her bag broke um, so I was like, use this one. I'm not, I'm probably not going to use it. So she used it for the entirety of the trip. And she was like, I need to order this bag when I get home because it's the perfect bag. You have an adjustable strap that cannot be removed, but it has the nice chain detailing here, which is great. Simple black, simple logo. You have two very roomy pockets. Like you can fit a lot of crap. Oh, a hair tie. You can fit a lot of stuff in here. Um, so you have one pocket in the back, in the front, and then one in the back, which has wallet slot, uh, card slot. So you don't necessarily need a wallet if you wanted to, um, free up some space. But then in the middle, you have a very, it just goes like right down to here. Like my finger is right there. So you have a very small, like, pocket but this is good for like lip gloss or you could probably put your cards in there though it's probably not the like the most secure but you could throw like random stuff in there um and it's just great it's like a great shopping crossbody it's a great like everyday bag I love this bag so much um and then in the same breath this is an old bag this I got in the Nordstrom anniversary sale years ago um but it, it still gets a lot of use and it is just a Tory um, crossbody, kind of like a wallet on a chain because you have the wallet slots, the card slots back there, but you have like a very roomy bag and then um, a side, a back pocket. Um, this is not adjustable, but it is removable. Um, and I think like she still has like something like this. It's in like this nudie color. It's like a nudish pink, though it does have like quite a bit of wear, but it's okay. I still use it. It still gets a ton of love. Um, oh, and then last for Tori is the infamous 
um, Fleming Tote. This I bought pre-loved years ago. I think I did an unboxing on it. Um, it's a pink, it's pink chain detailing. Um, pink bag with chain detailing and you just um, have like, it's a great tote. It's a great, this is the tote that I use for like errands when I maybe I don't want to use like a Neverfull or like I just want like a larger bag but it's like very lightweight it fits so much you have a pocket here and a pocket here I just love this bag um I usually use her during the summer though I have not used her this summer maybe if I go if I if I go out tomorrow maybe I'll use this bag just to just show her some love um, she's in, like, pretty good condition, too. Um, not a lot of wear. Um, but, yeah. That's a great bag. Okay. That's it for Tori. Yes. Um, one other bag. Um, like, not, I mean, it is a name brand. It's the Loafer Randall bag. Obviously, it looks like the shoe. But I bought this for weddings that I had. Oh, horns or something. Um, and it's just the perfect bag. It comes in a ton of colors. I would love it in rose gold. But, like, really delicate chain detailing. I used this. I was a bridesmaid in my friend's wedding in April, and I used this. I had a green dress, um, and it looked beautiful with it. And it was a great bag. I, it fit a lot of stuff. Didn't really, like, kept its shape. It's really, really nice. I think that this is a great evening bag, but also a great, like, uh, yeah, evening, like if you're going like out to dinner with friends or your significant other um, or like a party, a bridal shower, a baby shower, anything like that. Like just a smidge nicer of a bag. Let's get into the to the to the luxe stuff. First up, we have my Prada Galleria. This I bought in March of this year. Um, it is in the, I forget what color it's in, um, but it's like a light pink and it's like patent leather. And I used this a ton when I first got it. Um, I haven't used it much more recently. Um, I don't know why. I feel like maybe it just, I, I think I was just using other bags. Um, but I love this bag. It's probably one of my favorites in my collection. I would love a larger one in the Safiano leather um, in a caramel color because this was a little smaller than I expected, but I love her. Prada is making a huge comeback. I'm, I'm just thrilled to have this in my collection because this was one of the bags that I wanted for so long. And I think I listened too much to people who said like, Prada is not really in style. Like it's like an older, like, oh, like nobody buys Prada anymore, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, no, like actually I really love Prada. Um, and it's probably one of my favorite brands, like my favorite luxury brands. Um, and I'm obsessed. So that's that. Then, hmm. Oh, my Gucci Marmont um, bucket bag in the nude shade. Um, this I got last summer. I use her a little bit. My mom and my sister got a lot of use out of her. Um, I don't know why. I If she fits a lot, I do like her. Um, I love this color. I've always wanted a Gucci Marmont in this color. And I think that this is a bag that a lot of people don't have, which I like. But she's just like little, she's a cutie. Like, she's just... She's like very understated, but like you, that still has like that familiar feel. Um, I need to use her more. I think I've just been carrying a lot of stuff with me, so I haven't reached for these smaller bags. Um, like I said, big bags are coming back, and I'm very happy about that because I carry too much stuff with me. But yeah, very, very cute. Then this bag you have not seen. I don't know why. Um, oh my god, I'm trying to close it. But this is a new bag, and this is the Gucci Jackie in the pink color. I have wanted this bag so badly, and I was looking on eBay, and I was like, I don't really want, like, the, um, 
like the older version I don't know I, I couldn't find one that I really liked and then I was like you know what I really want like a hot I really want a true pink because I have this but she's like a nudie beige with like a smidge of pink and this isn't really pink it's more nude and then I obviously have like my Tories but I wanted a pink bag and so I, I bought her um from eBay um and it's just like a very simple bag no branding it came with the shoulder strap and it's just like so nice you see it's like has a little bit of wear but it's like a nice shoulder bag I used her once um she's tiny she doesn't fit a lot but I'm very 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 I really need to use it more <sighs> yeah I I like I said I have been oh I got something on it oh no okay um I haven't been reaching for my smaller bags, but that's the Gucci Jackie. Is that everything? Okay, yeah, now we'll get into Louis Vuitton, which I have to say, people hate on Louis so hard. They hate on them because of the monogram, because the logo mania, because everybody has them, they're too accessible, blah, blah, blah. I love Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton was the first handbag first designer handbag I ever had when I was little um and the multicolors were out it was the first like fake handbag I got from the flea market um it was the f m m what I remember my mom carrying when I was little to me like that is it just means a lot to me like I love the brand so much and personally I'm somebody who loves a logo I don't want to wear a bag that doesn't have a logo on it like I don't I it, and it's not because I want other people to know that I have a bag it's because I like logos like I like looking at the logos like I I just love it like maybe that's why I haven't really reached for this because there's no logo on it like it says Gucci like very little on here but like I want just a little something so I love Louis Vuitton and I have the most um Louis Vuitton bags. This bag, I know I said I wasn't going to show you my, my mom and my sister's bags, but this bag is my mom's, though I keep it in my room because nobody knows how to take care of their handbags. This is a Vernie leather shoulder bag from like probably late 90s, early 2000s that my, my dad bought my mom this. Um, and I just like, it really brings back a lot of childhood memories. Um, I use it a lot and it's like a very nice bag, very tiny, doesn't fit a lot. Um, I re recently had to get like the strap, um, like reattached. It's like a very old, like super patinaed, but it's a nice shoulder bag. Um, it hangs a little low, like the, the drop is quite large, but it is adjustable. Um, so you could put it on like. But yeah, the Vernie leather, which is like old school. Um, but she, she needs to get a little more love. Then also, which is also my, I have my mom's Louie in my room. That's really what it is. Just this um, short little epi leather shoulder bag. It has, oh no, it just has the D ring there. I was going to say, you could probably find like a longer strap to go with it. But this is like also very old from um, the 90s or like early 2000s. Then original toiletry 19. I, this was like, it has lost its shape quite a bit. Like, and it's like very not great inside, which is annoying. Um, so I try to keep it stuffed, but I feel like I have to do something with this bag like I think I don't know I don't know if I need to get an organizer or something but toiletry 19 and now for my bags I have the favorite mm which is one of my favorite bags I think in my collection I really obviously it comes with the shoulder strap that I keep in here but I want a new shoulder strap and I want a monogram shoulder strap 
but I really just like carrying it with the chain detail because I carry it in the crook of my arm and I carry it over my shoulder and it's totally fine. I mean, I think it's like a little neater that way, but I love this. I bought this a few years ago off of eBay, I think, um, and just absolutely obsessed with this bag. I would love it in Damier bin. Um, yeah, it's really good. Um, and then, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm just like trying to check. This was my first designer bag ever. My grandma bought it for me for my 16th birthday. That's all I wanted. I've told the story, I think, many times on my channel. Um, my grandma asked me, what do you want for your sweet 16? I said, I want a Louis Vuitton bag. She goes, you don't want jewelry? Like, like I want to get you something special. I like, I'm like, i like, grandma, I'm always going to remember that you got me my first Louis for my birthday, for my 16th birthday. Um, and it's just a really nice, special memory. Um, this is the Speedy 30. Um, she is very patinaed, um, very well loved. I mean, she's fif over 15 years old, which is crazy. Um, almost 15 years old. And it was the... I think it was like $700 in um, 2006, 2008 or nine, whenever I turned 16. But yeah, Speedy 30, I use her a bit, a lot. Um, there was a time there where, where I wasn't using her, um, but I use her quite a bit and I love it. It's like a black hole um, and I find it fine. I did um, get the piping redone maybe like eight ish years ago because it the piping like popped out um and they redid all the piping for me but it's like patinaed really nicely and I don't baby any of my bags so everything look um I and I like a patina like I don't like when things look brand new which is why I really like buying pre-loved everything all of my handbags, except for this Speedy, is pr like all of my luxury handbags were pre-loved. I have never bought anything new from the, bot the boutique. In of pre-loved, Pochette Matisse in reverse monogram, my dream bag. When I saw this bag, when I first I saw the Pochette Matisse back in like 2016, and I was like, I need that bag. That is going to be like my next purchase. Um... And then the reverse came out and I was like, I need to have the reverse. Like I only want reverse. And I played around with it. And like, if you've seen, like I, I got the Coach Cassie to see if I like the silhouette because there are so many mixed reviews about this bag and blah, blah, blah. And finally, I think it was uh, last year. I think it was 2021. I bought this because I usually buy a bag with my tax return. Um, that's how I got this bag. That's how I got the favorite. That's how I got the Prada. Um, I usually buy it with a tax return. Um, and except though for this, I sold a crap ton of stuff and bought this. But this, I was like, I'm buying it. I found it on Fashion File. It's, it was in near perfect condition. And then I finally was like, no, I, I need the reverse. Like, if I'm going to buy the Pochette Matisse, I need the reverse. And I'm just in freaking love. I use this bag. I go on and off. Like, I realized I hadn't been using her. Um, so I brought her out today when I went to Target. And it's just, I love her. She's my favorite. I just love her so much. It's just a beautiful bag. Um, the only, like, wear was a little bubbling here. But I literally don't care. Um... And it's just like a little briefcase. It's just the absolute best. Okay. Oh, all right. Um, oh my God, this is heavy because it's my work bag. Oh, this was the first um, bag I bought when I started buying pre-loved. I bought a Neverfull from Trade Z for $500 and she's in horrible condition, but I do not care because really when you're walking down the street and people see a worn in bag, how are they going to know that it was pre-loved? Like who cares? Like my mom is always like, oh my God, like why did you buy that? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I don't care. I like a Neverfull. I want a Neverfull and like eventually I'll get the piping replaced, but Neverfulls are the best work bag. Um, there. It is filled from work yesterday, um, and 
after like the whole like other tote bag debacle I was like f this like I'm using my Neverfull and I also have been taking the express bus into work which helps um like the nerves though like I mean whatever it's like a whole other story but um Neverfulls are the best to, are the best work bags I've been like trying to see like I really want to buy another bag um <laughs> because I can't stop and I was thinking like oh like I want to get like a nice work bag maybe I'll get like the Chanel GST maybe I'll get like the YSL uh, sac du jour or the YSL tote uh, leather tote bag and then I'm like why like I have the two Neverfulls which you'll see the other one but then I'm like maybe I'll get a Neverfull like maybe I'll either complete the collection and get um Damier Azor or I'll get Empreinte Leather or like Epi Leather, something like that. But Neverfulls, you can never go wrong. I don't care if people say they're outdated, they're overused, everybody has one, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I love it. I don't care. And I also have the Damier Bin, which I usually use this in the fall and winter and my monogram in the spring and summer, though I do like change it up. But um, I was in a monogram mood, but I love this. This is... I love monogram but I really love this too so yeah and then finally my most recent and my prized possession my Chanel Diana um I used her once since I got her I used it last week to go to a bridal shower I loved it but it was a little nerve-wracking um and I don't care. She's not in, like, the best condition, which is, like, totes fine. Um, like I said, I like a worn-in look. I don't need her to be perfect because she's mine. But, um, yeah. It, this has opened a whole door to, like, now I think that I can, like, afford Chanel. Um, but I can't. Um, and I just love her. I need to use her more. I need to get more comfortable using her. Um, and I will. I never wanted to be one of those people who uh, baby a bag. Also, if anybody knows how to, like, get, like, the creases out of her, if there's even a way, let me know. Um, but, yeah, that is my full handbag collection. It is quite a bit. Um, and I'm sure in, like, two months, I'll, it'll be a completely different um bag collection Ow. but yeah that's that thank you wait did I yeah I did get everything oh my god I why do I feel like I'm forgetting something I don't know but that's that thank you so much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up leave a comment um subscribe to my channel make sure to follow me um on all social media linked in the bottom bar down below thank you and I'll see you in my next video bye